right, 4.2 now, um, and 4.2 is multiplying matrices. Um, first of all, we just got to go over a little rule, make sure you understand that uh, how you multiply them here. It says, um, if you multiply them, here's the rule, and I'll go over the first one with you. These two inside items, the row and the columns, need to match here. So what I mean by that is, this is rows and this is columns. This is rows and this is columns. The column of the first and the row of the second need to match. If they do not match, then you cannot multiply them. So for example, four and four matches. Yes, you can multiply these. Two and three? No, you cannot multiply these. Five and five? Yes, you can multiply these because they match. Here's another little trick to teach you. The answer is the outsides. That's what the answer's shape of the matrix will look like. So for example, this one works. The final shape of the answer will be a 2 by 1 matrix. The final answer down here will be a 4 by 7 matrix. Since that one doesn't work, we can't do it in the first place. So taking a look at these right here, nope, can't do it. Why? Because it was a 6 and a 2. Yep, I can do it. What's the final matrix going to look like? It will be a 4 by 3, because it's whatever's on the outside. Now, understanding multiplication. First of all, the rows by the columns. There is 1, 2 rows by 2 columns. This is a 2 row by 2 column. Because these match, I can multiply them so my answer will look like a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, so now that we understand that, it'll be a 2 by 2 matrix answer. Here's how you multiply. You do the entire first row by the first column. What do I mean? That means do 1 times 5 plus negative 4 times negative 3. That gives us 5 and 12, which is 17. Then you do the first row by the, so this first row here, by the second column. So that's like saying 1 times negative 7 plus negative 4 times 0. Well, that's 0, so it cancels out. 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. Then you do and let me just remember those. It's 17 and negative 7. Then you do the second row by the first column. So 7 times 5 plus 9 times negative 3. That's 35 and negative 27. So that is 8. And then you do the second row by the second column, so 7 times negative 7 plus 9 times 0, that cancels out, leaving you with just that, which is negative 49, and there is your answer, and I know I put it in that order because we just found out that it was a 2 by 2 matrix. So using the same concept here, this is a 2 by 2, this is a 2 by 2, so it matches in the middle, and the outside means it'll be a 2 by 2 matrix answer. So first row by the first column, 5 times negative 5 plus 7 times 4. That's negative 25 and 28, so I get 3. First row by the second column, 5 times 8 plus 7 times uh, negative 9, so that's 40 and negative 63, negative 23. So 3 and negative 23, remember that, 3 and negative 23. Then second row, first column, negative 8 times negative 5 plus 9 times 4, that's 40 and that's 36, so that is 76. And then second row by second column, negative 8 times 8 plus 9 times negative 9. It's negative 64 and negative 81. 
So negative 64, right? Let's see here, negative 64. Um, and a negative 81 is negative 145. And there is your matrix when you multiply it. So double checking, this is a one, two, three, right? One, two, three rows by two columns. And this is a one row by four columns, which means no, you can't do it because these do not match. So we cannot do that one. Moving on. All right, this is pure insanity, but it's a three by three and a three by three. And what that means, they match, and the answer will be a 3 by 3. So this means I can do it. Watch how pure insanity this is. First row, first column. So 4 times negative 7 plus 2 times 8 plus 1 times 2. Negative 28, 16, and 2. So that's like 18, and so negative 28 plus all that gives me a negative 10. Then first row by the second column. So uh, 4 times 3 plus 2 times negative 5 plus 1 times 6. So that's a 12 a negative 10 and a 6. So that gives me 2 and 6 which is 8. And then f the first row by the um, last column and that is um, 4 times 7 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 times negative 4. So it's 28, 0 and negative 4 which gives me 24. So I have that as the first, and then I need to jump down. That was just the first row. Second row, first column, negative 3 times negative 7 plus 0 times 8 plus 8 times 2. That's 21, 0, and 16. 21 and 16 is 37. Then the uh, for second row by the second column, negative 3 times 3 plus 0 times negative 5 plus 8 times 6, that's 9, 0, and 48, so then that gives me 57 right in there. And then the second row by the third column is negative 3 uh, times 7 plus 0 times 0 plus 8 times negative 4. Negative 21, 0, and negative 32, so I get negative 53. So, with all that in mind, let me try to erase this as quick as possible, so I can do one more here. Get out of there! Now we move on to the last row. And let's see here, the last row. So the last row and the first column. So 2 times negative 7 plus 5 times 8 plus negative 6 times 2. It's negative 14, 40, and negative 12. So that's negative 14 plus 40 plus negative 12 and you get 14 and then all of that by the second column so 2 times 3 plus 5 times negative 5 plus negative 6 times 6 that's 6 negative 25 negative 36 so 6 plus negative 25 plus negative 36 is negative 55 and then the last row, uh, the last row in the last column, 2 times 7 plus 5 times 0 plus negative 6 times negative 4. Um, that is 
positive 14, 0, and 24, which gives you 38. And there is your matrix multiplied together, A3 by 3.